Are you looking to add more Air Jordan 3s to your sneaker collection? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna be going over 10 different affordable models that are worth under 250 bucks. First up, we have the Dark Iris Air Jordan 3. Now, this shoe in particular is not gonna be for everyone simply because of the coloring, but when it comes to price, this is definitely gonna be in that affordable price range, going just for a little bit over $200. I know not everybody likes purple on their sneakers, but at the same time, it's a pretty clean model, something similar to a Fire Red 3, Katrina 3, you name it. It's gonna be similar when it comes to that color blocking. Just gonna have have those purple accents on the shoe and I'm personally a fan of adding sneakers with purple on them in my collection so to me I feel like they had to be put on this list because I got a feeling a couple years from now this shoe could easily be a $350 shoe next up we have the pine green air Jordan 3 and I think these in particular are a very dope shoe all black a lot easier to rock now it does have a different material on the upper compared to the typical leather that we may see on a Jordan 3 so you might have to worry about that when it comes to the longevity with rocking the sneaker and taking care of it with the different materials like the suede and and things like that but at the end of the day i think this is definitely another affordable option that's going to look dope with a lot of different outfits and now i know green is not another common thing that we may see because we're so used to the red blacks and whites or the blues or things like that so i can get that but at the same time especially with somebody like me being a go ducks type of guy a air jordan 3 with green accents like this just screams oregon ducks and that's something that i definitely like and was reason why i added these to my collection as well when i was able to get them for retail and i think with them hovering around 250 bucks some a little bit more, some a little bit less relative to sizing and everything like that. It's gonna still keep you around that $250 price point. Now I'm a size 13, so also take that into account when we talk about all the different sneakers in this video because size 13s typically go for a little bit more money. So that's always something you might be able to find another model or I might be able to make another video for you guys with affordable options as well because I definitely saw more than 10 Air Jordan 3s when I was making this list. So we might have a part two coming soon. We'll see how this video does first. Let's take it to sneaker number three. And that is the Fire Red Air Jordan 3. This is a very classic, iconic model and colorway. And I think for that reason, no matter what, over time, the shoe is going to go up in value. Just like we saw the Fire Red 4s, the Black Cement 3s, you name it, all the different models that are classic with true to the OG color blocking. And this, man, the 3, I think is one of the best releases of the years when it comes to GR releases, when it comes to this year. They did a really good job. And if you guys want to see that review, I made sure I got all the links for the reviews down below in the description as well with the list of all the shoes. But either way, the Fire Red 3 is a sleeper. I think if you have a chance to get this shoe for just over 200 bucks, which is a little bit over retail, you're going to be a very happy camper because not only are you going to have a classic, nostalgic, iconic, dope colorway, something to rock and have in the rotation, but this sneaker is going to hold its value and go up in value over time. And that's something to always be aware about too. I know we're not always in it for the investment of the sneakers, but it is kind of cool to say, hey, I copped the sneaker, I got it at a good price, and now later it's worth more and you can use that for trade bait or different things like that. But again, that's a whole nother topic. Let's take it to sneaker number four. And that's the Black Cement Gold Air Jordan 3. Now this one in particular is a women's colorway, so I'm not able to get these in my size. I think they only went up to a size 12 in women's, which is like a 10 and a half in men's. Like I said, I'm a 13, so I can't even fit the shoe, but I think these are extremely dope. They are very similar to the Black Cement 3s. You can't go wrong with them. They got the gold touches and accents. Some people may say it's too much. Some people like it and think, think it's just the perfect amount of gold added to the shoe. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. But either way, I think these are low-key hitting for under retail right now. And I don't, I, I mean, it may be a while, but I think eventually over time, they will rise in price and maybe be like a $270 shoe or $310 shoe or something like that. I don't know, we shall see years from now and we can come back and look at this video. But I definitely think either way, because it's so close to an OG style when it comes to the Black Cement 3, that alone is gonna have the nostalgic sneaker heads and people like that still loving and appreciating this shoe. Me personally, I like the shoe. I think it's really dope. Again, I can't fit it, I can't wear it. So that's why I didn't go after copping the shoe. But if they did have it in my size, I can guarantee you they would for sure be in my collection oh yeah and if you didn't know by now my name is dj and this is the dna show hey! let's take it to the next shoe and that is the fragment air jordan 3 now these right here there was a lot of hype behind this shoe because it was a fragment collaboration we saw the fragment travis scott's the fragment ones all the different things and we figured that this would be in that same boat like the price is just going to continue to rise but it wasn't a Jordan 1. And we saw the back tab, it was starting to yellow as people got them. And that was something that kind of had people a little bit leery about the shoe. But my pairs, they're still pretty icy when it comes to the back tabs, and I don't have too much to worry about it, but it is something that could potentially happen. So 
So if you don't have that shoe and you never knew about that, also take that into account when you do plan on purchasing the shoe because you could potentially find a pair that has yellowing on the back already, which you might be able to get a better price on it or not care about it or whatever. Or it might be something that caused you not to purchase the shoe. I don't know, everybody has their own preferences. At the end of the day, you get to spend your money how you want to. I'm just trying to help you guys find good options. So when it comes to the Fragment Air Jordan 3, very simple, clean, white, black, nice shoe you can wear with a lot of things has premium materials i like the shoe a lot i have them in my collection as well i think it's a very dope sneaker to have and i feel like it's at a very affordable price will this shoe go up it's been a while since it came out i'm not sure it's been low-key a few years we know the sneaker market is down right now and maybe over time as everything starts to inflate maybe years from now or whatever it may be maybe it's around that 300 dollars price point i don't know but I think right now, if you can realistically find a good deal negotiating with people and everything like that, I don't think you should have too big of a problem finding this pair of sneakers for 250 bucks. And that's why I put them on the list. Next up right here, we have one that everybody says they are similar to the Travis Scott's, but they are not the Patchwork Air Jordan 3s. I got these and I loved them. I thought they did a really good job. And again, if they would have put the Cactus Jack branding on this shoe, next thing you know, it could have been a $700 shoe. But because of it, they're only hitting for like 240 bucks. And me, either way, I still think the shoe is dope. So for those reasons, we had to put them on the list and they're under the $250 price point. So that makes everything even better. This shoe is definitely gonna have a bunch of different mixtures of materials all throughout the upper and all those different patches. I've done a full review on mostly all these sneakers on the channel already in the past. So again, if you guys want to see any more in-depth or if you don't get enough from the b-roll that i'm posting throughout the video or anything let me know down below in the comment section if you don't see any specific links i'll try to get reviews for you guys as well but either way yes this is a very dope affordable option you can definitely wear this with a lot of different outfits throughout any time of the year but i know the fall time and everything is coming right now and it just makes so much sense to be able to add this one to the rotation during the fall and winter seasons and mixing it with a bunch of different outfits i think these look really really nice and i'm excited to see who else picks these up next up we have a sneak that it has been highly talked about but for some reason the price just isn't going up and i'm not mad at it maybe it's because the materials are okay on it the cardinal air jordan threes now yes these may be similar to the katrina's or the fire reds but i'm telling you right now ogs are ogs and you can never beat that so because of that i can understand why these may not be hitting like everybody expected but I do get why people appreciate them and why people consider these as another secondary option. And yes, I've heard some people say that the Cardinals are better than the Fire Reds. In my opinion, they're tripping. I think they're crazy. You can't beat the OGs. The OGs, is, if it wasn't for the OGs, there wouldn't be the Cardinals. That's all I'm saying. But anyways, at the end of the day, yes, the Cardinal is a nice shoe. I have those in my collection as well. I think they're dope. Um, I think they're very affordable. Just over 200 bucks. Going to be a nice addition to the collection. Again, like the Fire Red 3s, something simple and easy to rock with a lot of different outfits. It's going to have a white shoe. Now for me, when it comes to white sneakers and being a size 13, they just look kind of huge sometimes. So I always got to be weary about the outfit that I'm wearing and everything like that. I'm sure some of you guys can attest to that. I know a lot of people that like to wear just darker colored sneakers to make their foot not look as big and bulky compared to the outfit color and everything like that. Whole lot of different reasons and explanations to why people choose what they choose. <laughs> but anyways, this is definitely going to be a nice option for a lot of people and I think definitely deserve to be on this list. Right here we have the Muslin Air Jordan 3s. Now these ones in particular, I did think they were okay, but I never actually went after them. So I don't have true like thoughts and opinions about how I felt about having them in my collection and try them on with different outfits and everything like that. Um, I have seen them in person. I think they are solid sneakers. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I just think for me in particular with the materials on the uppers and everything, just something that didn't really float my boat. But at the same time, people do like it. And I think with them being at this affordable price range and being able to you know, get a little bit versatile with the different outfits and stuff, this is definitely a nice sneaker that's worth being on this list. Just around that mid 200, low 200, range right there with the pricing so i think this is definitely a nice shoe let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section do you have these in your collection already do you plan on getting them are you waiting for the price to go down do you think the price is going to go up whatever it is let me know what you guys think about these let's take it to the next shoe and that's the brown winterized air jordan threes now these recently came out and we know the shoe game is kind of down right now and the winterized collection stuff like that but remember when the winterized fours came out 
And then now look at the price of them. They're starting to go up. So it might be the same kind of pattern. I don't know. I think the shoe is pretty nice. I've seen them in person. Again, I'm not just gung ho for purchasing every single sneaker. I do like to get, you know, some stuff for the videos and things like that. But for the most part, I'm not going after every single shoe. There's just way too much money to be having to have to spend to go buy every single release. Like it's just so many shoes coming out. So being able to see lists like this and be selective and say, hey, I like this one. I like that one. I'm going to go after these those are affordable different things like that definitely makes life a little bit easier and knowing like not being in the mindset of like i gotta buy every single shoe so just always be aware of that for yourself as well not feeling like you need to fit in by purchasing every shoe like everybody else and all the other stuff because trust me it's not a fun game just buy what you like that's the most important thing and if you don't like all these shoes or if you don't like any of these shoes don't buy any of them you know what i'm saying let somebody else get them that wants them that's all i'm saying so let's take it to the last and final shoe and probably one of my top three shoes on this list right here because i think i don't know i think these are very undervalued the cool gray jordan 3. now last sale right here is at 275 dollars and the offer is around low 200 so i think realistically with pricing and negotiation and things like that you should be able to find this pair for around 250 bucks as well or through trades and different things like that i actually ended up just getting a second pair the other day and i it was through a trade and i was very happy because i was like this shoe has so many memories for me back when i was in high school and all those things when they came out when i used to rock them then so now to see them again coming out and having a chance to kind of refresh and rock them again in the new current time is something that makes me excited about you know collecting sneakers and getting things when they retro and things like that so the cool gray three again very universal you can rock it with a lot of different sneakers i have a full review on the channel for you guys if you guys want to see that and if you guys want to see any other top 10 videos or any other affordable videos or anything like that let me know down below in the comment section and i'll make sure that i get it for you guys so that we have more update helpful videos for y'all all right y'all i'm out Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there.